When it comes to emerging science, one of the most prestigious awards the AAN bestows recognizes high schoolers who have shown incredible scientific skill and talent in their contributions to neuroscience. It's time to meet this year's AAN Neuroscience Research Prize Award winners. My name is Max Young, and I'm a senior from Roslyn High School in Long Island, New York. I'm Polka Perchuri. I am from Heritage High School in Frisco, Texas. I'm Samantha Shavitz. I go to Byram Hills High School in Armonk, New York. So my research focused on the interaction of the mu opioid and the morphins and uh, cedicliptin. So essentially, uh, I saw that COVID-19 is a lot of brain fog issues, and that people with diabetes also have a higher incidence of getting Alzheimer's. My research found a link between diabetes patients and patients with COVID-19 and how it affects their memory. My research was using machine learning to diagnose, analyze, and treat Parkinson's patients all from a app and a website. And we found that um, it can actually increase the accuracy as compared to um, the current medical industry and also improve um, accessibility to billions of people across the world. I investigated the use of focused ultrasound to open the blood-brain barrier and increase drug delivery in a murine model of primary high-grade glioma tumors. My cousin passed away at 10 years old a couple of years ago and it really catapulted me into the field of neuro-oncology. It was really exciting but I also uh, was pretty nervous but uh, I think ultimately AEN invited me here for a reason and it was great to demonstrate and show my research. I met so many amazing, like phenomenally smart people and it was such a great experience. It really validated my research. I went into my science research program hoping to help just one person and being here in front of all of the really prestigious doctors and researchers it gives me hope for my future. <laughs> the uh, future of neurology is definitely in AI and machine learning. The future of neurology is bright. The future of neurology is ever-changing and hopefully I can contribute uh, something to a cure for these brain cancers.